good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. A lot of celebrities are coming out in the support of Diddy. Um, people are saying, hey, listen, that could be me. Let me support the brother and all of that. And of course, I can understand that position. One of our brothers who is saying that is a brother that I respect in the game. Our brother, Slim Thug. I wanna play this person, I'm gonna come back. I don't wanna see a black man who came so far, almost to a billion dollars, fall down. That's our inspiration for It ain't too many of us. I don't wanna see, they took Kanye down. We forgot about Kanye. And the good thing he uh, able to do his own man. That's how I look at it, man. We losing another billionaire over allegations at this point. Still ain't no criminal charges. You know what I'm saying? We only got about one billion out left. Who, Jay-Z? That's the only left. Everybody else, let's take the person off of it and, and who that person is, right? Man, listen. If Look at who is wishing this dude fail. You know what I'm saying? It's his own people. It's his own people cheering him, laughing, and... Diddy did it and coming up with new slogans for him. It's his own people, man. Like, so take note of this. Man, you would think the motherfucker, he thought a year or two ago when we were popping Ciroc, he thought that we would ride or die for him, man. Like, he thought that the motherfucking world of hip hop would stay down and over, you know, especially without him having a case. Like, especially without him having a case, he would think, hey, man, they're going to ride for me. I, I live for this hip hop. I'd live and die. This shit. The hip hop community is gonna ride for my innocence. He would assume, I'm sure. Say if he did that, then whatever he get, he get. But so far, I haven't seen no criminal charges. So out for that, I'ma just sit back and hope for the best. You know, I don't want to see nobody go down, man. And for people to celebrate that, love that, want to see that, is weird to me, man. So like, it made me want to stay in the house. And people you would never, never knew they existed want to see this man whatever if you if if you work for me if if i uh came up under you and you over me i don't want to do no business with you i don't want to see you in the streets but do i want to see you go to jail for life like you help me be a part of my play regardless if i like you not so that's brother slim thug right but i want to play this clip of this brother who was going to come out with some allegations that diddy did to his his nephew. I was personally disturbed many years ago, okay? I, I I know this man well enough to call him and say, hey, I need a favor. Yeah. And this might have been 10, 12 years ago that I called him and say, hey, I have a family member who I want you to hire them as an intern. Yeah. And uh, I have never talked about this publicly. And I, and he said, yes. And they were flying around, one of the interns, Atlanta, Miami, whatever, on the jet, in the house, whatever. And then the internship stopped abruptly, like three or four months into it. Yeah. And I spoke to my family member, like, well, what happened? And they wouldn't say. Yeah. And I'm like, what, what do you, why did it end? And he wouldn't yeah. say. And years later, they finally came out, and this is a male, yeah. and said that uh, Puff had said, come home, stay the night with me, or the internship is over. And they said, absolutely not. He said, absolutely not. Uh, and the internship ended. Uh, but from there, I was like, oh, like, oh, this is this is God. how it goes. OK, yeah. OK. Oh, oh, OK. So you heard that. Did you hear that? This brother, he said, listen, I, I know. I know Diddy. This is Toure. OK, I know Diddy. And I don't know what Toure's, you know, his sexuality is. But, you know, hey, I guess nothing happened with Diddy tried to do anything with him. So he felt that Diddy was cool. Diddy tried to clap his nephew's cheeks. So I know that Slim Thug, who was a stand-up guy, and, I, and, I, and, I, and I, I don't know Slim Thug, right? But he's my, I can just tell he's my kind of person. He's my kind of person. You know, he's just a brother that want to see black people win. And we, we've been oppressed for so long that sometimes we want to just give each other a chance. And I kind of used to be like that, like, well, damn, man, why are we uh, trying to stick up for these people in the community and everything like that? And they doing wrong and woo, woo, woo. And, but you know, sometimes you want your, you, you know, you want to give your brothers a chance. 
the problem in this case is now you have all these black people that's talking about this with Diddy. These are blacks and Diddy always talking about the brown, black and brown coalition and you know, these things. And this is what Diddy was doing this thing to the black community. This is what, this is what I'm saying. So how do you gauge that when this is what Diddy has been doing with black folks for a while? So, and it's like, well, you know, we just tr trying to bring the black man down. Okay, I get it, brother. You know, you do have some people. You do have some people, brother, who uh, who is out there in the community doing certain things and people that's haters. I Look, we even got them kind of haters here on YouTube and, and we ain't got no money like these guys. But at the same time, no. At the same time, what are we really talking about? Are we really being serious? We're not even really being serious. You know what I mean? Like at what level does of, of, of accountability do we give to this particular brother over here? You know, like you are as a black man, what, what do you pose to be and post not and not supposed to be doing? Are you supposed to be going after people's cheeks, brother? Like you're Diddy and I know entertainment is weird and that kind of stuff goes down or whatever. Okay. If you want to be a uh, try anything sexual, can you try anything sexual with somebody who don't want to be clapped up? Is it possible? that you can do that with somebody who don't want their cheeks clapped up all the way? You know, can you not have sex with the people that's in the business? Like, how can you not do that? And whenever you want to talk about that, they get mad. Oh man, you hate, like, you know, just black folks supposed to just do whatever they want to, to, uh, eat to other people. And it's supposed to be cool. No, it's not cool. And that's the thing, you know, we want to always say we need to support black people and support the black community and all this stuff. Then you have Negroes be doing whatever they want to do, getting away with it. And when people try to, you know, bring that to the point, then all of a sudden, you know, you're a hater, you know, you, you, you hate black people. <laughs> and, and some, and it's sometimes that's the case, but that ain't always the case because what happens is if Diddy is a billionaire and allowed to continue to on like that, it's going to put more of a stench on black community. Well, you know, we let the billionaire get in there. You see what he did. Just the same thing with Tiffany Henry. It's like, oh, why y'all want to bring her down? Fannie Willis, y'all just want to bring a black woman down. That ain't got nothing to do with the fact that Fannie Willis is crazy and Tiffany Henry is crazy. They act like complete asses. So when we don't, you know, when we don't confront that, we also damaging our image. It ain't that people hating on them or don't want to see them do well. They don't want to see themselves do well. Cause if they did, they wouldn't be acting like that. Nobody that want to see themselves do well will do the kind of stuff that these people are doing. And when they act like that, they don't care about black folks. Cause if they did, they wouldn't do the stuff they're doing. It's there's no way you can you you can you can you can understand that. You can make light of that, you know? And whenever somebody wants to bring that to the forefront, it's a problem. It's a big issue. And why is it an issue when it's the truth? Why is it a big issue when it is the truth? So guys, what do you think? It's your boy, Shady Jackson, back at it again with another episode of Celebrity Junk. I appreciate you for you. Just heard the bell. We're out.